Keep your energy right. What's up, what's up, me familia? So as you can see, well, I don't really know what you can see, so we're just gonna leave that right there, bud. Leave that right there. But what's on my noggin for the day, or right now, momentarily, hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking, you know, we've all switched timelines, right? We've all made major changes. We're better versions of ourselves. We're not the same beings we used to be. We're not. No. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. You don't know me. All right. So with that being said, I kind of want to know what's going on with the karmic twins. Or not necessarily the karmic twins, but the situation we had with our past people. And now that we're on the new timeline, I just want to kind of be a little nosy. She was good. Because, you know, when we make final changes, final decisions, and we decide to move forward, the karmic wheel spins. Now, I'm not saying we're looking for their karma. What I'm saying is, bro, did you recognize that, that you know, your life is based upon every decision that you make? Have you recognized that, you know you may have a bit of stagnation are you actually doing your work because it's not that like we don't like these people no more these beings anymore but in actuality you feel me we love them unconditionally meaning we want to see the best for them whether they're with us or not now now these karmic soulmates don't have to be romantic partners they could be friends they could be co-workers they can be the people at the car wash that you know do does a great detail but for some reason he always gives you a toot every time he gives you back your keys so we are going to see just a little glimpse on what's going on in that timeline now you already know that we're highly favored and protected meaning no weapon formed shall prosper that's right you already know and you know we give all the glory to the big guy upstairs because if it wasn't for him um honestly we wouldn't be as spiritually gangster and inclined as we are and honestly we'd probably be like the muggles and just doing the nonsense and the repetitive lifestyles and all that crappy crappy karmic stuff rather emotional yeah I'm excited. 222 two, two on the clock. Let's go. So let's see what's good and what's going on with these little karmic beings. And uh, I'm not saying that we don't have karmic tendencies and karmic things to get done, but we definitely want to be a little nosy. Let's see what's good. All right. Influence in the re. Okay. All right. Spirit's like, yes, sweetheart. We're on that timeline. You emotionally vacated. The premises, you had to walk away. Yes, it was a large investment. The max amount of cups you could possibly have is 10. And you left behind 8. Hold up. Hold up. Boom. And you left behind 8 out of those 10 cups. This is going to be a difficult reading. We're going to have to fix something about this. But anywho, let's see what's going on. Okay. All right. And I also with the moon and the sun over there, it's almost as if something was hidden but illuminated at the same time. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Let's let's just let's proceed. Remember, we can't have the darkness without the light. All right. So this is interesting. Maybe as we were vacating the premises, things really clearly came about. What do we have there? Exactly, the hangman seeing things differently from another perspective. Now, also remember, I was saying mucho mucho stuffo about stagnation, right? So maybe now you're in timeout. Boom. Okay, cool. Let's look at things. Reevaluate things. Why are we in timeout? How do we not come to timeout again? Honestly, I don't know because usually I'm in timeout myself, so I'm not really the person you want to ask for advice on that. But let's just play with the cards and figure this out. All right, let's go. So, boom. Okay, Six of Pentacles, Reciprocity. So now somebody may be looking at things a bit differently. Somebody may see that they may want to give to the situation. Okay, very good. And somebody also may be stepping up into their divine masculine. Okay, I'm liking the vibes. I'm loving the vibes. I love accountability. All right, I love accountability. Let's go. We got right here. I didn't peep that one. Four pentacles. All right, but they're holding back at this time. Definitely holding back, keeping everything together. Now, the four pentacles, it looks like they were holding on to their organs, protecting themselves, possibly even the fetal position, which is never a bueno. That's never a bueno. Let's, let's just keep rocking. But I do love the fact that somebody is now a boss. Okay. Okay, so maybe they're recognizing and seeing that they should have given to this particular being. Because as you can see, somebody's getting fed and somebody's being left out at this particular time. And somebody's definitely recognizing 
things from another perspective. So maybe I'm not gonna say you were, they were possibly over here feeding the homeless, but all I'm gonna say is you feel me. You were pouring your time, resources, and unnecessary attention into the wrong people, places, and things. Divine masculine. Mm. Now, in the shuffle, I know y'all seen that empress, that beautiful empress that just kept popping up. You feel me? So, I believe it's evident that you've been an empress this entire time. Go and figure. You feel me? I'm going to be honest with you. Everybody likes the shiny stuff. But with the difference between people who have value, are value, grow up, growing up knowing what value is, and people who see value and learn value as time goes on is you are it. Okay? So, when you are valuable, you're not going to go out there and flaunt yourself. All right, not going to degrade your body. You're not going to go show off all your shinies and your bling blings and all that. You're not going to do that because, for one, it's inappropriate. Two, it's gaudy. And three, when you got it, you don't have to flaunt it because it's a regular thing. Now, people who don't have value, they look for the shiny things. They're not necessarily looking for uh, the lesson, possibly the blessing. Um, you know, they're just more or less looking for the shiny. Now, a lot of times you can go to a hair store, you can go to any store, and you can get something that's shiny and fake or plated, right? So you have to be very careful in particular. And I'm thinking somebody thought they were giving to the shiny, in which they were. Unfortunately, it was plated and not in the raw form. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boom! Okay, so with that being said, somebody has some sort of romantical feelings that are now hidden and suppressed, and they would like to... Bring it about, you know, let you know what's going on. <laughs> I'm not feeling the vibes. I'm going to be real. It took you going through all of that for you to recognize that you have some some sort of romanticized feelings going on. It. Proceed. Let's go. Let's, let's just go. All right. Let's just rock. All right. So there may have been some hidden emotions that this energy was unaware of. I'm not going to lie, that's a lack of emotional intelligence, which is a major issue right there. But then again, we've seen that somebody has bossed up and become an emperor. So we're just going to, for five seconds, all right, we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt. But the minute we see something, we're coming out. All right, we're, we're there, buddy. We're there. All right, what we got? Boom, a queen of wands. Now, a queen of wands. I'm be honest. I don't want my woman being no queen of wands. All right, I'm going to be real. She's on the market. She's hot. All right, she's over here looking and people are looking back. And on top of it, you can feel her presence before you know she's there. She don't got to speak. She don't got to say anything. She'll just... And you feel that presence. All right, not only that, but she's not taking any nonsense. She's a master on that battlefield. So you feel me? She ain't playing no game. She's not doing no small talk. She knows what it is. And high value is what it is. All right, not to mention the little bit of spiritual gifts that are like, you know, popping out left and right. Okay, so there's some sort of news <clears throat> and announcement. <clears throat> I, I don't have the announcement. So let's just keep rocking. Okay. Okay, so apparently, hold up, time out. This announcement, this Queen of Wands has no idea about, okay? Now, somebody's been doing some healing, a little bit of soul searching, all right? They're really doing some deep introspective work, which is wonderful, all right? We want people to learn. We want you to do better. We want you to be your best version of yourself. How did we start this off? We love people unconditionally. Whether you're with us or not, we want to see the best, all right? And that's it. You feel me? I don't want to see you down and out. I don't want to see you struggling. I want to see you mastering whatever your craft was, especially if you had to sacrifice a divine being. You feel me? So if you had to sacrifice a divine being, you best be doing your thug thizzle over there. You feel me? You better be on top of everything. Boom, 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 boom. Because if you turn your back on somebody or the most high or somebody who serves the most high or somebody who was sent to your life as a blessing, my G, you better be getting real dirty and real right. You feel me? You better make it evident why to the most high why you did that sacrifice so that most high is like you know what i didn't see it from that perspective you know what we we may have to look at this from another angle and you know we'll get back to you want the most high to be like oh my goodness you are so resilient you know not don't get me wrong most high knows and sees everything you feel me so i'm not saying you can actually do it but you better be winning all right we want you winning at all times, no matter who you are, what you're doing, you better be putting your best foot forward. Let's go. Eight of Swords. So somebody's nervous. All right. Okay, we got something going on over here. Boom. The energy that's holding back. So they're nervous. They're in their head. They've done their deep introspective work. Maybe they're over here trying to get some information on this wonderful Queen of Wands. Very attractive. Very assertive. Very much 
we're not doing that today but you feel where we're going with her vibes okay she's out there and she's on the market and people are watching that's not what we're here for right now that's not what we're here we want to make sure that our past soulmates are doing well not the fact that we're over here you feel no we're not no all right no 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 <laughs> let's get to it all right so we have somebody who's very much nervous now there's been little to no communication everybody knows the king of swords yes he's a wonderful mental manifester but emotionally detached he is all right he's a very skilled energy very wise all right and as you can see he's holding his sword of truth okay so maybe this particular energy is definitely seeing things clearly now maybe he also has some sort of truth he would like to speak unfortunately he's holding back and he's feeling a bit restrained and possibly stuck not to mention the hanged man started us off stagnation baby stagnation let's rock let's rock okay all right you know this is really irking my soul i don't want to keep doing that come on i ain't gonna lie this is for fire read i wasn't anticipating this to happen you feel me but you know hey you feel me most high puts me on the table i just do what i do you feel me okay 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 all right hold up okay we got one on my lap one on my lap okay all right so apparently we got a bit of a book going on over here and do you want to come out you do but you're not eight of cups full circle so we're about to finish up this reading right here apparently there's definitely remorse sorrow and sadness going on a little bit of grieving crying over spilled milk about the fact that i want to say their two of cups has actually walked away from the situation all right now i say that with this all right max amount of cups we could have is 10 so th this relationship this partnership this soulmate connection had the potential to have a ten of cups be something that's truly emotionally fulfilled something that's happy you may not have the flyest fanciest teslas and all that other stuff but you know what you have everything you need you're very much happy emotionally fulfilled your neighbors are happy with the the positivity that you and your family bring to the community your, your family's happy your mailman's happy delivering your mail because you guys are so abundantly happy and well and blessed you know what i mean ten of cups is that life a lot of people get stuck on that ten of pentacles but anybody can achieve a pentacle anyone can achieve a pentacle joy happiness faith all of that that's in a cup baby you only get that with a cup all right so let's go so yes this energy is very much in their head and nervous and the reason they're holding back is because they feel as if they're gonna be hurt the same way that they possibly hurt this divine feminine all right now it looks like we did definitely see the six of pentacles where they were giving to another party and not necessarily this um <clears throat> and we're gonna call her the blue lady the lady in blue right so we see three parties we see that they're now recognizing that they were given to the wrong energy and they would like to come around and redeem themselves possibly have some sort of marriage possibly get things together a little bit of stability all right definitely coming in to redeem themselves all right looks like they want to balance the scales all right bring a little bit of a uh, peace stability balance now we've seen them giving over here which is all about balance and all that charity all that great stuff but um <laughs> you know what now i was about to i was about to start talking we're not going to do that okay so boom 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 okay so and how are we going to do that with an apology possibly expressing some sort of admiration coming forth and being honest okay but definitely seizing an opportunity an opportunity to communicate an opportunity to charge in there boom to the one who surrendered and let go of them now the interesting about that is those are six swords now i said the reading was done there but there's definitely six swords so their intent is truly to move beyond this situation now my thing is what what you want to move beyond yeah you moved beyond buddy you chose who you moved beyond to but you can't come beyond this way you people people you know they're just interesting ten of swords exactly this was a very rough and painful close to a cycle, especially with this third party energy. Yes, these two may have been wed in the spirit, I'm being realsies, but this was a very crucial, horrible close of a cycle. All right, the elephant graveyard, 10 swords to the neck, back and chest, 
all right that's it's a no bueno that's you're not coming back from that okay all right let's go boom okay you very reckless bit of a knight of wands energy and it's still coming forth with the with the with the knight energy all right i'm glad to see that mm, no i'm not there's there a knight they went from a knight of wands to a knight of swords still moving quickly and yes i'm seeing bunches of problems and burdens everywhere that they turn all right they're attempting to work with people but they're not necessarily working with the best individuals for them their path honestly i feel as if they're a bit of a lost i don't want to say lost cause but i also don't want to say a lost soul but they do need some guidance now they're a ten of cups i'm sorry now they're a king of cups okay we're going to leave this one right here because we're at a full cycle. Boom, with the Eight of Cups. Now he's a King of Cups. I'm going to be honest. Based upon the situation that I see here, we don't need a King of Cups. We need a King of Pentacles. And that's it. Um, this is wonderful. You have a cup of love. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. But we need something more stable, more grounded, more balanced. We need to see that you're actually in this, especially with this Knight of Wands energy. Inconsistent player like, yeah, you may be kind of easy on the eyes, but you're dealing with a Queen of Wands and an Empress over here. You feel me? We came up strong. You feel me? So now we ain't playing that. We don't want your cup. We want pentacles. All right. Now, it's not that we want the material possessions, because at the end of the day, the goal is definitely a Ten of Cups. But for this particular energy, that love bombing, that emotional nonsense, even though it's great that you're now understanding and seeing with your introspective work what's going on and where your emotions actually lie, three nights on the table, Knight of Cups, we're not, we're not for it. We're not for it. Okay? So we want to see a King of Pentacles, Emperor combination, nothing else. We don't see that. We're not accepting it. Well, I'm not, I can't speak for everyone, but I will definitely speak for the energy on the table and say, we need something stable. We need something secure. We need something solid. We need something that's authentic. And this energy did not seem authentic. So we're going to leave this one right here. All glory to the big guy upstairs. Cause I'm about to keep ranting, baby. Second cup of coffee. Second cup of coffee. Let's go. Let's go for number three, baby. All right. So I love you all unconditionally. I'm um, loving light to this energy. Um, I do see that you're seeing the error to your ways, which is wonderful. You've done a lot of work on yourself, which is phenomenal. I would have loved to see you come out on the table as an emperor, truly, you know, bossing up. You did not come on the table as anything but a king of cups and three knights. So you do have a lot of work to do, but it's wonderful that you are now recognizing the blessing that was in front of you. So we're going to lay this one right here. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed it a little bit and I'm ready for coffee cup number three. I love you all. Let's go.